Yo, big up yourselves. Welcome back to the channel. Before we do anything, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You become a legend straight away. That's how easy it is. Just press it. In today's video, we're going to be finishing this off. Not Tommy, the decking. We've also got another tool to show you, but you'll see that in a bit. Let's go back in time. While I'm going back in time, run that thing. Right, we know from our last video that the base was built. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is protect this base from the weather. And to do that, we're gonna be using this decking tape from Walter Strong. I'm gonna say Walter, it says Walter. Might be how you spell it though, to be fair. But yeah, anyway, this is gonna go on top of all of our floor joists so that in the gaps, in the decking, the free mill, whatever gap we leave, once the rain hits, goes through, this is gonna protect our timber from rotting and from just getting weathered. Now this tape comes with a 25 year guarantee. So it's gonna protect our woodwork for that length of time. It'll probably be trashed in our eyes by then, to be fair, but we move. So what we're gonna be doing, is going across all of our timbers with this tape, get it stuck down, cut to length. It's got this little paper back in, so we'll peel that off get this stuck down doesn't matter if we overlap it or anything because it is only thin it won't affect the pieces going on top we'll get that done all of it covered all of it protected This weather's gonna be ridiculous now, I'm sick of it. Look at this, get on them tools. Get them round here. Right, this is all taped up now, ready to go. I've done the steps. Well, Zoe's done the steps to be fair to her, fair play to her. We've just wrapped it over and round wherever we could, because obviously there's that bit of timber in there, but yeah, it's all covered, ready to go. This is looking mint also, look. Ooh, hoo, 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 that'll save me a trip. Go on. No. <laughs> right, first plan of attack is to clad this outer edge. So what we're doing, we're screwing one board right the way across. Then we're going to mark it and mitre it here. Mitre the other one and send one that away. Right, we've marked our internal corner there. We've set the chop saw up to 45 so we can get that in now. Start the cut on that line and it'll send it that way. And that's going to look something like that. So there's your two ends, mitered up together, 45 mint. We'll get them fixed in now with some timber screws and then we'll move on to the top. First one lies down and Andy's done some technical stuff. So he's cut round this post here. You can't even see it. He's cut round this post here, that's gonna slide into there. Then we're gonna cut them off straight there. And then in between, we're gonna have to do something here, form something, not sure yet. So now we're making our way down through the decking. And he's made us these packers. So everywhere we go, we're gonna check same distance right the way through, as you can see the gap down there. So we've got a lay, 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 lay. We're gonna cut all these to size so that it's flush with this end piece. And yeah, blast through. Right, all our boards up to the concrete pad are now on, and that's looking mint. Now, the next bit, Andy's come up with this idea. We're gonna sail this board over and then that step, so we've mitered this edge here, and that's gonna run back level with the side of that. So that's gonna go there. We just clamped it on now, see what it looks like. And then the bottom step there is just gonna be a little bit shorter, but obviously, yeah, I think it looks mint. It'll look mint from above because that's just gonna carry on a full board right the way through. We'll just have to build something up here to attach this piece onto, whether we just put an angle bracket or something on there, just to carry it across and into there. Then this is gonna be cladded here, the bottom one gonna be cladded there, and these are just gonna run straight the way down onto the next step. Right, here's where we are at. Second night at it. Boss, it looks nice on here, you know. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> we've decided, well, I've decided. Well, we've decided, haven't we? Yeah, something like that anyway. We've decided to go with these packers. So 
we've cut down some of the 6x2 timbers that we had left over and we're going to screw those straight down onto the concrete. We've had to chop some little bits out to get it level, but that is the plan. How have you cut them down with such perfection though, Jack? <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, damn. This is the Bosch GTS 18 volt 216, and it is a table saw. Quite scary for me, actually. Look at that beast. So it's 18 volt, same as our chop saw there. We've got a little push and pull operation. So pull it out, it's on, push it in, it is off. We can also miter the blade using this. Unlock that there, slide it round to the angle that you want, lock it back in, and then give this a spin. And that's gonna higher and lower your blade to where you need it. So something else with this that is awesome is this little contraption here. So all we do is lift that up and then we'll slide it across to where we want. And then if we look down on it, so zero, that's our blade. Then we're gonna come across and inside here, there's a little red line there. That's the mark for how much space between the blade and this there is. So if you're cutting a 10 mil piece down, you're gonna set the red mark to 10, like so. And then that's gonna give you a 10 mil cut straight down that metal piece there. And then stored nicely under here, we've got a little angle piece there. So this is gonna slide into there like that. Then gonna twist that, set it to our angle we want with that red little line there lock it into place, and then that's gonna give us our angled cut, whatever we want there. So it can slide into that one or that one there. Now stored in this little holster here is a little plastic pusher. So when you're cutting your wood, you're gonna push it along with this so that your fingers are nowhere near. And it's a good job we've got that today. Because if you can see in my sawdust, there's little bits of red plastic, which was the end, which would have been my finger. So thank you to Bosch for putting this in. We've also got a little Allen key slotted in there for any adjustments we need to make to the bolts. Then here, we've got a little quick release thing onto there. And that's then gonna quick release onto here. He says, like that. And then that's gonna give us a little bit more safety when we are cutting the timber. We've got this off at the moment because if we lift it up, our wood is thicker then that's gonna allow us to cut. So we've got that off, but obviously you should have it on. But obviously me being a professional, you know, we don't need safety. Whoa, where can I get a tool like that, Jack? Same place that we always get our tools from, UK Planet Tools. Once again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description and a link to this sort that we are using today. Check it out, it's mint. We have some fantastic bargains on there. Andy's even picked himself up a bargain today. I'll show you that. Look at that bad boy, jeez. So they do sell all major brands. So he's bought that because he does a lot of work on an old Renault 5 Turbo that he's got, which is very, very fast. Not that we've been fast in it, but apparently it is quite fast. So if you wanna see anything like that, let me know. I'll pop round, we'll do a little video for you. Right, let's get back to it. So now we're gonna be fixing these down to the concrete with some plugs and some screws, fix it straight down. That'll allow us to sail our decking board straight over. Then we can fix, probably straight through again, straight through to the concrete. big up Andy in the comments, he's a G. Right, now that that is all railed off level, we've put our decking tape on. Next step, bang the rest of the decking down. Hopefully it's as easy as just saying bang the rest of the decking down, but you know it's not gonna be. 
the end is near, kids, the end is near. We've took a measurement that end and we've took a measurement that end. And that's getting riled off now to our measurements and then we'll get slotted in there. For a mixture, we've got some Makita, we've got some Milwaukee, we've got some Bosch. Whilst we only need a bit of DeWalt, don't we? We've got a full house. Yeah, let's do it. Damn, suck it grew there, right, and get up. This is nearly uh, ready for some outdoor activities, isn't it? So if we set a table up here somewhere, we could just put the fruit bowl on top and all have a piece of fruit. I thought it was only spark. Is it made a mess? Look at the stat on it. We're riling again. Andy loves a good rile, don't you, mate? Oh, he loves it. We are getting somewhere now, aren't we? So. We've got a few bits left. We've got to back these steps out just to put our filler pieces in, put some packers or something like that behind. Bit of wood, bit of timber, get it screwed on, nice. And then up here, we've got this to feather edge or do whatever we're doing there. We've got a bit of filling to do down the bottom. We've got some packing and filling to do between the two decks just to make it look a bit more level, make it nice. And then on here, the plan is, so if you can see where these bits of timber are, that is eventually going to be like a pagoda sort of roof with some louver panels that we can open and shut. So that's going to sit there three metres by three metres. And then in between, we're going to be having the same sort of thing as this. So we're going to be having a straight run of glass from end to end, probably leaving about 120 mil from each corner that way. And then we're going to be coming this way and then probably finishing about here. That's the plan. Let me know what you think. Night two, Finn. See you tomorrow. Been about a week, to be fair, since the last video, last little cut, last second. That is because the weather has been horrendous, but now look at it. It's just, you can't plan anything, but the decking is done. But I'm gonna show you quickly what we've done. And it's looking fantastic. So, on our steps here. So on these, like I was saying just, we put the timber behind to pack it out, make it look mint. They're done and looking good. And what we've done on this end panel here, just to enclose it a bit better, we've put a piece of timber straight down there. We've put a timber onto that wall and just cladded it in the decking. And that gives us a nice little storage area. He's cut these on a mitre, just in case we ever want to carry on anything across there. He's got my Crocs, look at these. Put yours on, Tommy. <whistles> Matching Crocs. How awesome are they? You know I love Crocs. And then up here, we've feather edged this panel now and put a little bit of beading straight the way down there just to separate the two. And then if you've spotted, just to finish it off, we've put some nice little decking lights in, which looks class. So it goes all the way around up to that corner there. We haven't done anything across here. And then we had a bloke round yesterday to get us a quote on the glass balustrade. So the plan is it's gonna come across this down there and then a handrail down the steps and then price depending we either leave it there where the steps are finish there or we come across to these steps here but i'm absolutely broke now so nothing probably so next project for jack is seed this lawn can't do it because the sun's absolutely blazing but out here is looking really nice now really really nice so i do apologize for the last bits missing off the video but the weather i can't honestly the second I walked out to do anything, heavens opened, we got soaked. And this new camera is not waterproof at all. So referee blew the whistle, called stop, and that was that. But hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Leave a little like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please do consider blasting that subscribe button. We're nearly at 7K, I think. So if you can press it, get us there. Legends. I'm going to leave a link to UK Planet Tools in the description along with links to the tools that we have used in this video. So we've used the rail saw, the chop saw and the table saw. There'll be links to all that down below. Once again, thank you for your continued support. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you later. ta -ra.